name's John Cordy. They also call me the Fig Doctor, and they call me Uncle John. And uh, I actually spoke to Jake Loosemore, friend of the channel, uh, spiritual guide. And I said to him, if there's one thing I'd want for my birthday, it'd be like a giant fig roll. And um, so this is what arrived. And I'm just going to use this dishcloth, because um, it might still be hot. That there. All right, so open that up. Ah, oh dear. Looks like it's some sort of vertex clone. And inside, ah, okay, awesome. That's a gigantic fig roll. So, happy birthday to me. I'm going to try that with some custard. All right. Enjoy the rest of the video. Cheers then. They said it couldn't be done. They said it shouldn't be done. Right, okay, this idea was inspired by someone much smarter than me, so Igor over at Line 6. We were chatting about tone matching some stuff. I'm going to do a, a, a bigger video on this later on. One of the ideas that he had was actually involving using EQ and this was to take a tone made with an HX stomp or helix or whatever closer to what was happening with something like a fractal device or a pod cortex or whatever and what we found was that it was more kind of low-end information in those devices uh, again I say there's gonna be a video on this later on today so what we were doing to take an EQ so on your pod go you've got an EQ which is always there ready to be used so take the low high shelf low gain you want to push all the way up to 12 dB I know that sounds extreme but there's not that much information at this part of the uh, EQ curve anyway so then press action move that between the amp and the cab now I'll just advise you to try this and maybe you can try switching it on and off see if you like what it does but that to me is kind of the difference that I feel or perceive when I use another device. Um, it's not necessarily more real or anything. It's just that things like the Kemper and the Quad Cortex add some low end kick to the tones. And I'm not exactly sure why that is. Maybe that is to make it perceived to feel like it's moving some air. But doing this little trick I found did something positive I felt for the feel. So I just wanted to share that with you. So maybe try that. If you want the tones that I used in this video, that's Eric Lead Hoar was what I used. Hoar oh, because there's a Horizon Drive in it. That was the lead tone. And then this new one, Mish-ish, uh, which is based on Misha, which is doing like a sort of double tracking thing. Also that low high shelf thing, which actually with a baritone guitar possibly wasn't necessary. Might have overcooked that one. But anyway, check that out. A low high shelf EQ... Uh, low gain plus 12 at 150 hertz chuck that between the amp and the cab and see if you like the results thank you for stopping by if you wanted to like and subscribe it is my birthday so you know that would be nice you could also leave a comment and say happy birthday let me know if this works for you and does anything positive um, it shouldn't really mud up the tone too much because there's not loads of information around this area anyway and you still got the uh, low cut at 80 hertz so what it should do I guess is like a slight boost just above where the mud might be if that makes sense catch you in a bit